my name is Joel Dunsmore. I'm a Keysight Fellow, and I'm here to discuss a new capability that we've just added to the PA. This is using what we call the modulation distortion capability. We're using the PA with an internal source to generate a wideband modulated signal. You see the yellow trace is a signal going into the amplifier, the blue trace is a signal coming out of the amplifier, and we're able to directly measure the ACPR and EVM of this uh, amplifier. But in addition, we added a new capability new at the show. It's the ability to measure directly the vector spectrum analysis demodulation of the signal. And here I can see the input signal and the output signal. The input signal has 0.3% EVM, fantastically good, across a 500 megahertz span. The output signal is the output of this amplifier, and I'm seeing about 1.2% EVM. All of this capability in the PNAX is can be combined also with the ability to measure S parameters, gain compression, noise figure, and IMD. So now in uh, FR1, FR2, even up to 300 gigahertz, we have the possibility of making full modulated measurements on amplifiers and frequency converters. Also on our test stand, we have a new capability in this product. It's called an SSA, Signal Source Analyzer, but I like to call it a phase noise analyzer because that's the main thing it does. And here we're measuring the phase noise of a system in this example, I'm measuring the phase noise of an oscillator I designed 40 years ago for a very low phase noise oscillator. And here it shows 185 dBC. That's really the theoretical noise floor for this uh, oscillator. The new phase noise test system has the ability to do cross-correlation. That's this yellow shaded area, and it shows me that I'm able to lower my system noise floor through the cross-correlation method. But beyond that, we call it an SA, SSAX, like the PNAX, it has extra capability. For example, the ability to do wideband spectrum analysis, the ability to do VCO analysis. So here I am measuring the signal coming from my uh, VCO while I change the voltage, and I can get the tuning curves of the VCO directly. We can also do transient analysis on this system. So, the SSA and the PNAX both use similar user interfaces, so if you know how to use one of our products, you know how to use them both. Thank you.